So again, I just want to reiterate to Beth Sweeney that the work that I do, I'm doing it here. I'm helping people create exits and, and within themselves and with me from the KKK, minded white supremacist bullshit, that you've chosen to be a part of. You've chosen to join sides with the people that I'm fighting to take the slaves away from them and free those whom they have tortured and enslaved into our slave quarters. I'm not going to here go somewhere else. You're not going to use my symptoms to torture me to go somewhere else. That's exactly what I'm here to expose. Had you not joined sides with the bad guy, and crippled me from being able to get help elsewhere, then I probably never would have talked about it. You know damn well, Beth, I withheld saying anything for as long as I could. But you want to be obtuse and hard-headed and have the net ward run game. I have to go public. You put me in that position. So I don't want to hear boo-hoo from you or anybody that you're working with. And I'm not going to respond to their lies. I'm going to let them lie. I mean, I can't stop them from doing it. But I'm going to call them out on it. And I'm going to work very hard with United. I don't need internet. I don't need phone. I'm not prohibited by any, any boundaries. But I stay right here to do my work. I have a whole community of people rallying behind me. They can't go public about it because they would suffer too. They would suffer retaliation. I have supporters all over the United States and all around the world at this point. I'm not going to stop doing my work any more than you're going to stop doing your work. Your work just happens to be criminal. That's your problem. And in your criminal activities, you got caught trying to hook up with me on audio. Again, that's your problem. It's not going to become mine. I'm not going to suffer the consequences. I gave you the speech once before, and you were quite impressed with it. I said, I am not going to lay back and suffer the consequences of someone else's stupid shit. If I'm going to suffer, it's going to be because of something stupid I do. I've recorded me doing everything right, by the law, cussing you out, cussing out your admin, cussing out the commissioner, cussing out anybody who isn't doing their job, because they don't, they're tugging on the governor's dick. Not my problem. It's absolutely my job. Per the advice of several federal specialists, to cuss, to disagree with what's happening to me. Get over it. Suck it up. Go, okay, I did this. I'm going to deal with it the best way I can. Grow the fuck up. Human trafficking has been my life before I ever knew what those that, that term meant. Nanette Ward is a fucking dilettante. She's an opportunist and a profiteer. I don't care if it hides behind the non-for-profit status. When she's throwing... Dying trafficking victims under the fucking bus to have connections. She's a pimp. That simple. Fuck her. Fuck the coalition. And fuck you. Get help. For whatever shame it is you're trying to hide from. Because that woman I met in the exam room was different than this other person that, that, that I'm being faced with. So I'm not going to respond to to your businesswoman. Because your businesswoman is just a white cracker crack in that whip.
don't feel sorry for you.